Hello fans, today we're gonna test a new uh, quadcopter, the company named the Light Take uh, sent me this one. It's a, it's a Kaideng K80 Phantoma, 2 megapixels FPV quadcopter. So, I think we have to use the mobile phone to uh, fly FPV, I think so. Package is a little damaged. Okay, let's open the box. Oh, comes like this. Okay, the propeller is little. I think they have a little damage because of the. Shipment, maybe I have to change the propeller so it can uh, have less jello on the video. Okay, let's see. Size is uh, 38, 38 centimeters. Here we have a spare propeller, of course. Letters, so you can place the right propeller on the right, right engine. Prop savers, just uh, just click them on, easy. And then we have this. It is uh, something to uh, yeah, avoid avoid obstacles. Yeah, so you connect this under the quadcopter. It's only for indoor flying and uh, the beginner's mode. So this can help you to not hit things in your way when you're flying. I do not know uh, if it will work, but it will avoid obstacles. Yeah, so we can try to fly against some furniture and see if we crash. Okay. And here we have the Camera, okay. Mm -hmm. With a tilt, okay. Now we have the battery, one cell sleepo, 650 milliamps. With this, you can fly about uh, six to seven minutes. And this usual. USB charger, you can charge from your PC, from your mobile phone charger, whatever. Yeah. And the transmitter. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Maybe we can change speed. The pusher, the quadcopter will move faster. A launch and landing, push this and you will take off, push again and you will land. <laughs> okay, and here on off, you can switch camera and recording. <coughs> and this button, the quad will return to home. Last time I tested this uh, function, return to home, the quadcopter just returned to China. Camera on off, I think, and then we have uh, on off and three buttons. This seems cool, and the it's battery inside this transmitter. This is the first transmitter where we already have a trans uh, battery inside, and the battery here here is one cell sleep off. And you can use this charger, charger transmitter. That's cool. It's first time. And just have to secure your mobile phone here and fly FPV. So your manual. And here is uh, information specification of the quadcopter. You can also read that in this video and in the video description and at the lighttech.com. So, the 
let's see. The range uh, for this uh, quadcopter is about 100 meter uh, for controlling and uh, I think only 50-60 meters for the Wi-Fi uh, video. This uh, information about the controller. So everything is, you can understand everything by looking at these buttons because it's uh, arrows and it's text. So, and it says how to uh, install or uh, disassemble your uh, motor if something fails, how you can change them. That's great. I've never seen that in uh, any manuals. So this uh, Fantoma from Kaideng manual. It's uh, it's only in English, full of pictures, easy to understand. This uh, has to be the best manual I have seen on these uh, cheap quadcopters. <clears throat> and here is a QR code, so you can scan, so you get the right app for your mobile mm -hmm. and a basic operation guide how to fly how to trim this information about uh, auto hovering 3d flip obstacle avo uh, avoidance sensor okay you can sense uh, sense things about two meters from the drone. That's not long, so it cannot fly hard, I think. I have to try it. Mm -hmm. And the last side of this uh, manual, you have uh, information about uh, how to upgrade your quadcopter to better components. Or if something uh, is damaged, you can, uh, you can buy new parts. So here you have pictures and you have article numbers. So here you can buy a 5 megapixel camera also. And engines and uh, la landing gear. Uh, engine gear, memory cards. Okay. And here is... You can take off, off this piece, I think. And then <coughs> we can install this thing to avoid the obstacles. That's that's crazy. Camera is uh, of course you can just uh, I think you the propeller will not be in the picture. I hope I hate propellers in the picture. And in the back, you just install the battery. Like this. And on top you have this on off button. First you have to turn on the squad, you just hold this button and turn on the transmitter. Okay. And down with the throttle, up with the throttle, and let go. And when you take off you just push push this button. Okay, so now is uh, now you can just lift it, and when you will land, you just push this button again. Mm, okay, it works. So now you can try to fly it first, and then test the FPV. Oh, that is better. It seems solid, it's solid, I think it seems uh, stable. I have to adjust the tri trim. How stable! Ah. 
But the obstacle will it work? Alright, let's test here. You see that? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, this thing to uh, prevent the crashing obstacles only works in beginner's mode. Mode 1. Not in uh, expert mode. I also I always use mode 2 or 3. But for beginners they can use mode 1 and then it did prevent crashing uh, in the wall. So this quadcopter is really stable. So this uh, Kaiden K80, I think it's a great quadcopter for beginners. It's very cheap also and have all these functions and this great controller. You can have your iPad here or your mobile phone. It's very easy to set up. And the manual, manual is also one of the best I've seen for these cheap quadcopters. Very stable. Short flying time for five minutes. Mm. That's a uh, short range for the Wi-Fi, but uh, that's same with other uh, brands too. So uh, I, I think I will fly this even more. I will fly it outdoor, but uh, no days in uh, Norway. It's very bad weather, so I cannot fly this very light quad in this this wind so uh, I'm really impressed how they can build such a great quad for, and uh, sell it for just eighty dollars inclusive shipping to Norway uh, you get lots of uh, RC fun with uh, for your money I think so. I think so. Everybody can fly this. Just beware when you fly beginner's mode. I do not like it because it's so slow. 
when you move your stick there is almost no reaction so you have to push this button so you can hear two beeps then it's really great to fly it's so easy so just go into lighttech.com and order this now thank you lighttech